There once were two people who were in love, phosphate and creatine. They lived together in the mitochondria and decided to take a trip to the M line of the A band to visit their old friend, MMCK. On the first night out, MMCK brought his friend ADP, and ADP and Phosphate fell madly in love. Phosphate broke up with Creatin, leaving Creatin feeling like he had no purpose in life. Phosphate and ADP went public as a couple known as ATP right away. Creatin immediately went on a soul-searching journey, traveling back to the mitochondria to find a new love. Upon return, he went straight to his friend, M.I.C.K.'s house, to tell her the news. M.I.C.K. had a great idea. Just because he was single now didn't mean he had to be single forever. M.I.C.K. knew how much creatine loved phosphates, so she introduced creatine to a new phosphate who just moved into the mitochondria. This new PCR couple quickly eloped and honeymooned to the M line of the A band. Just like the last one, this phosphate had a wandering eye and soon fell in love with another one of MMCK's ADP friends. Poor creatine had to travel back to the mitochondria alone. This vicious cycle of falling in and out of love continues forever. Meanwhile, other power couples of ATP break up to ADP and phosphate back in the mitochondria. The end of the relationship releases large amounts of energy to be used by the rest of the body for important physiological functions. While this cycle is hard on substrates and their poor emotional states, it is important in the creation and maintenance of energy. The energy transfer of these relationships is volatile and MMCK and MICK become forever matchmakers in the hopes of setting up an eternal love affair.